So we've got to start out by making our unicorn. And you can do this in pencil first if you want, but I'm using a Sharpie marker. And it has to be a permanent marker for this project because we're gonna use watercolors on top. And so you're gonna need a Sharpie marker and paper and watercolor paper, a Sharpie marker and watercolors. You don't have to have watercolor paper, but it will, the colors will kind of um, blend and, and look really nice on watercolor paper, but you can use cardstock, you can use regular paper. Um, it'll just have a little bit different look to it. And so um, if you remember, we've got to start our unicorn with our three dots and start the horn. And so we'll start it that way. Let's see. And I kind of want my unicorn to be in the middle of the page because we're going to do a rainbow on top. And so I'm going to do a dot here, a dot there, and a dot right here. I've got my three-year-old sitting on my lap here as I draw and paint. So if you hear some little little kid noises, that's, that's what those are. Okay, now we're going to draw our ear. And so we're going to come over here and leave a little bit of space for our flower. And then make our ear shape. And then we're going to come down. And so that's one ear. Now we're going to leave a little bit of space, maybe like a finger bit of space. We're gonna do a little curved line for one side of the ear and then come down. And then we're gonna do, come over here and do the inside of the ear. And this kind of looks like a teardrop. We're gonna start here and get a little bit round and then come up. And then start here, come around and up. And so we've gotta make our flowers now. And so our flower's got a little circle in the middle. And you don't have to do your flowers exactly like mine. You can do it however you want. And see, um, we've got three flowers here and each flower has four petals. We can make four petals, we can do five petals. You can do however many petals you want. But I think I'm going to stick with this kind of same form. Mommy, I Okay. And then make a little center over here. Got a petal. Another one. And this one, I think I'm just going to do three petals. And then I've got a little center over here. Do a petal right there. Do kind of a smaller one there. You know what? I'm going to do three petals on this side too. So there we've got it. Now, uh, with just a couple things left, we've got our eyes. And so I am going to try to come down here with a kind of a straight line a little bit. And then I want to take from here on my straight. Yeah. And then I'm going to come right here. And so I'm down here about eye level because I'm probably one, two, three, three fingers. And then I want to make a dot here for where one eye is going to start. And we'll do a dot here for where another eye is going to start. And so that'll just give us a little bit of an easier beginning point. I know I didn't show you that in the first part. We just do our swoop. And then another eyelash and a third eyelash. And this one, we're just going to swoop up. And our second eyelash and our third eyelash. And then I do like these little freckles. You can do freckles. You don't have to. But these freckles, I think because I'm going to do watercolor over the top, because I'm going to do watercolor over the top, I'm going to leave them That's open. Not in my house. I like flowers too. Okay, like now flowers. I'm going to extend this this little unicorn piece down there, 
And now I'm going to do our little spindles or our turns for our unicorn. So I'm just gonna make little half turns just like that. So now we are done with our unicorn. And now comes the watercolor part. And so with watercolors, I love watercolors, I'm going to take, um, you can use any brush you have, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a technique where we're gonna start with, let's see, we're gonna do a rainbow, but we're gonna start with water. And now this is where it's important mm -hmm. that you have, um, Sharpie marker is what you used because we're gonna go over it with water and so if you used anything other than a permanent marker or a permanent pen It's going to bleed which means that the the black Lines are going not going to stay crisp and black as the marker. It's going to go all different ways And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint with water right now And so I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to start in the middle. You can start on the side, but I'm going to start in the middle because I want to actually start with purple. And so I'm going to put purple. And so now, everywhere where I've got water, my purple paint. Now I'm going to come in with my purple watercolors. And I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna put watercolor right where I had my water. And so now it's gonna go everywhere and it's gonna bleed and go everywhere where my water is. Yeah. Let's see how that fans out. I not know that way. You didn't know that way? Isn't that awesome? And so now it goes everywhere where the water is. And now I'm going to work from purple and we're going to go blue going this way and red coming this way. So I think I'm going to start with the blue side. So I'm just going to paint with my water and because we're going to blue, we're just fine with some of this purple blending because purple and blue is really pretty is really pretty together. We don't have to worry about the colors mixing. Cuz it's going to look really pretty. So now you've got your purple blending into your blue. And so this is going to look like a real um um, rainbow for us. Now we're gonna put some more down and we're gonna go to green. So we've got water down and we're coming, coming in with some green paint. I love the green paint. Mommy, I love green paint. You love, you love all kinds of paint, don't you? Yeah. And so now everywhere where we've got the water is going to be the green. Now I'm going to save a little section up here for some yellow. And so I'm going to come in and paint right up here with some yellow. Just got a little glimpse of yellow right up there. And now, oops, I'm going to clean my brush. Yeah, that is yellow right there. Is your favorite color yellow? Yeah. Yeah. And so whatever your favorite color is, I would say do that in the middle. I just liked the way that this purple was gonna look in the middle. And so now we, purple from purple, we're gonna go to red. Where's the purple? I love the purple. And so now we're gonna paint with our red. It's going to blend in all the water. See how it blends in with the purple. And if I want it to blend a little bit more, I can just make that purple 
come in and then come in with the purple and then it'll blend in. If the lines look too defined and too hard for you, you just come in with your brush. So now that's a little bit too much water for me and so I'm just gonna come over here with my towel and just kind of blot it out a little bit. I think I Your want towel. my red to kind of come out more. Okay, and then after red is going to be orange. Orange? Now we're going to get the orange coming through here. And see how that red is still wet? And so it's going to look really pretty with this orange. Yeah. I love red. I love red. I'm happy that you like colors. I love blue. Red and bubble and blue. I've got a little white spot and here. Blue. So I'm just going to put and a little red. bit of water and come in with just a pinch of red and, blue. and just blend that out. Okay. So I've got my orange. Now I need to come in with my last color, which is going to be my yellow. Yellow is going to be my last. So I've got a wet, remember I'm gonna paint with water first, and then we're gonna add, and then we're gonna add color. It's gonna blend in with that orange. Not blue. Not if you get blue. little bubbles, that's usually because you've been going kind of, sometimes I go kind of fast and I get too much air working in, but you can just blend those out really nicely. That's air and this here, I don't like that little blob right there. So I'm going to take some water and I'm just going to blend that out. Why you put it on the towel? And if your brush gets too wet, you just go through, and dry it off on your towel. On your See, towel. and now that's not a blob of purple anymore. It's just blended straight through. So there you have it. There is a rainbow unicorn that you can do super easy. Um, remember, you just start out, make sure you're using a Sharpie marker. And then, um, like I said, you can use cardstock. You can use pretty much anything you want. But just make sure that I had mine taped down just so it didn't move. And I just did that with some masking tape. Um, you could do it with washi tape. You can do anything else. But I just wanted to have mine to, um, taped and secured down just so it wouldn't move and I wouldn't be handling my paper. And so that's why I have the masking tape. But paper... Um, a Sharpie marker, some watercolors, doesn't matter what kind of watercolors. I love Crayola watercolors. I did my background first and that was with an acrylic pour. And then I drew my unicorn on here with Sharpie marker. And with this one, I did add a little detail of an extra line on the ear just so I could paint some, some white paint around here. But what I did, is I just used some acrylic paints. And remember, your acrylic paint is like craft paint or um, fine art paint, just any kind of acrylic paint. Um, and then I just went through and I kind of watered it down a little bit because I still wanted to see the background. And so I've got pink and purple and some teal and then a lighter pink and gold. And then on the little um, dimples, I just added the pink instead of um, outlining those in the marker so that's what I've got and so that is two different versions one you can do your marker first and then do your watercolors over the top or you can do your background first maybe if you don't have a permanent marker this would be a really great way to do it is to do your background first with your watercolors or any any paint you have and then go on top with your paint or your marker if you don't have a sharpie um, a permanent marker and do that afterwards and do all your detail or you could do it with um, 
pens or pencils, just use whatever you have. The important part is not what supplies you're using, but what, that you are doing it and that you are creating and that you are experimenting. And so that is all for today. And so we've got two different unicorns, both super cute and different looks and just really, really fun. I hope you guys have a great day and you enjoy making your unicorns. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and hit that subscribe button right down there in the bottom right corner and hit the bell button if you want to receive notifications for when I post weekly videos. I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below if you have any questions or ideas for videos that you would like to see in the future. Have a great day.